Well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we're getting ready to go to Home Depot. Yes, we are. Because we're idiots. Yes. And we're uh, YouTube contributors. Right. Not influencers. Right. Not influencers. Contributors. Contributors. Okay, I got my tape measure. Make a quick measurement and see how many panels I'm going to need on this greenhouse. Tracy and I will run over to Home Depot and, and get the last few things that we need to get this project wiped out. <laughs> well. Day three of the greenhouse project. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and, and that way you can get notifications because we're going to continue to upload videos and talk about a lot of things on the homestead. I can't work with you. <laughs> we're going to have to do something else. Hey guys. Hey. Day three of the greenhouse project. We just got back from Home Depot and uh, picked up the clear panels for the roof. So I've got to set up some tools now, get all the strips ripped that go on top, and uh, we'll start putting the panels on and warm this thing up. We'll probably have it in use, what, another three weeks? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Coastal North Carolina, we get a long growing season. And last year we stuffed this greenhouse until we couldn't fit a thing in it. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing like, else. There wasn't room for us to get in the water in it. So we're looking forward to another good growing season. Of course, like we said, we went from a 10,000 square foot garden area to a 40,000 square foot garden area yep. this year. Plus, we're putting the orchards in. So it's going to be a lot of projects coming. So stick with us and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and, and that way you can get notifications because we're going to continue to upload videos and talk about a lot of things on the homestead <laughs> we really are a good pair 35 years we've been doing this together and uh, we get on each other's nerves sometimes but mostly we work on the same path at the same time yep not very often do we argue or anything yes we do no we don't yeah, we argue all the time <laughs> In your head, maybe. <laughs> I can't work with you. We're going to have to do something else. <laughs> Fine. All right, I'll let's get started. Okay, a little chilly out here. Let's explain what we got to do first to live along the coast. Where we put all the rafters in, and they sit down on that top sill, they're put in there with a three and a half inch ring shank framing nail. Very, very hard to pull out. But here along the coast, we use what's called a hurricane strap. This actually screws the top sill, or the rafter, to the top sill. That adds one more layer of protection if the wind gets up under it during a hurricane and tries to lift, it has to take the entire thing apart, it can't just take a rafter off. So the first thing we'll do is we'll let Tracy get started putting all the hurricane straps on all of the inside rafters and then we'll put plates on the outside one. Meantime, I'll go start cutting the strips on the table saw that we can lay across the top and the blocking that's got to go in in order to keep the wind out and keep the heat in. So we'll get started on that now. Grace, yep. here's hurricane stripes. Okay. Okay, now we'll cut the blocking that's going to go between the rafters and stop the air from coming into the greenhouse and also give it a little bit more support. Hey guys, I can't wait till he gets this greenhouse finished. Um, this is my livelihood. I love planting plants and starting seeds in the greenhouse. Uh, it speeds up the process and, and actually it gives so much light that the plants are a lot healthier and stalkier, like you don't have spindly tomato plants as if you started them in the house. Um, it's absolutely wonderful and I can't wait.
one in. I'll get a measure and cut the rest of these. Looks like Tracy's got all the hurricane straps already in. So as soon as those blocks get in, we'll put the straps on. We can start putting the roof on. Okay. I got all the blocking in on the ends, and now I'm running the, the strips across. The strips are cut a three quarter inch. Um, I cut those on the table saw out of treated lumber, uh, three quarter inch, and then I'm putting them every 18 inches apart going up the roof. I thought about doing 12, but then I thought, I wanna block as little light as possible, but make it as strong as possible. So I'm about to finish the strips up on this first side. Um, once I get that last strip in, and then I'll block the ends of the strips, and I'm ready to cut some of the roofing material and put on one half of the greenhouse. I suspect the temperature in the greenhouse will come up considerably once that first half is done. I'm really excited because we're getting really close to having it done today. And then all I'll have left to do is get the, the end gables put in and get the doors cut and framed up the way I want to. And the greenhouse will be ready to rock and roll. We'll uh, move on to another project. While I'm doing this, Tracy's busy out there cleaning up the old last year's garden. There was a section that we didn't clean up. We still had stakes in the ground and strings run where the beans ran through. But she's getting that cleaned up today. I'm hoping to get this done today so I can get the tractor out, put the ag rake on it, and rake off the area because, guess what? The silage cloth arrived. Uh, the UPS guy really hated me because it's this 12 foot long roll it's 129 pounds, it's a, it's a tarp. It's 105 feet long and 50 feet wide once it's unfolded. We're gonna cut that into two even lengths, um, 52 and a half feet each and 50 wide. And then we'll run over to Lowe's and get the big thousand pound bags of sand and start mixing some sandbags up. We'll get that silage cloth laid out and that'll kill everything on the ground. So we'll be ready to plant when planting season comes. We'll just take it up, uh, do a light till on it, mound up our rows, and after this year, we shouldn't really have to till again. We also got the irrigation kit ordered, which is enough to do 20 50 foot rows of drip irrigation, and that'll go under the ground covers that are on each row. But let's finish this greenhouse up first, and then we'll move on to those big projects. I work full time, I work 50 hours a week at a full time job, and then I come home and try to run this homestead. We're going to put a building in uh, for the market garden coming up here in the next you know, 30 days, we'll have that building in and it's just moving at light speed this is uh, something we love to do and tracy and i share the passion for growing things in the ground and we want to share with the community and sell and try to make a little money on the side too so let's get this greenhouse wiped out i'll uh, i'll cut these last few strips out and then i'll come back and i'll show you what type of uh, roofing we decided to use how to cut it and how to get it attached to the roof Okay, this is a PowerRoof clear PVC poly panel. This is what we're going to use on the roof instead of the uh, corrugated that came on with originally. You know there's a guy in every single factory that puts stickers on whatever you buy and he knows it's the wrong glue because he knows it's not going to peel off there easy but I refuse to let it make me mad. But if I get past this, we'll get this cut and see if we can get it on the roof. If I can get past this. give up today so Mike is probably cutting out pretty hard I don't know I can't tell I've got one more sheet to put up on this one side and then I'll start putting the strips on the other side but the wind just keeps increasing and it's getting a little cloudier 
I didn't think we were expecting a storm today. But I'll get this last piece put up here on the corner and then uh, we'll figure out where we're going to go from there. Crazy weather. Okay, the first side panels are on, they're secure. I'm happy with the way they went on there. Using the plywood blade, like they said, kind of chips the edges really bad. So I ended up using my Roby One grinder and uh, making my cuts with that with a cutting wheel. Not a grinding wheel, but a cutting wheel. And, and it came out a whole lot better. Tracy is now out there digging up last year's potatoes the ones that were left in the garden trying to see you know she's getting seed potato for this year um, Kennebec potatoes but I'm real happy with the way this side turned out it took seven panels to go all the way across with, with a single overlap and I put a screw in every other rib so it took a, in a lot of screws um, two boxes of screws to do one side but I don't believe that roof will go anywhere and yes unless it just yanks the whole thing off there I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the strips for the other side now, and uh, I'll have to go get more screws before I can put the panels on. What a day. Okay, guys, that's it for the day. The wind is just, it's kicking up even more. I've got to go get a couple more boxes of screws before I can put the roofing on this side. That side's done, and i got all the slats. As you can see, i got all the slats on this side put in and all the end caps so all I'm ready to just cut the roofing and put it on tomorrow um, the other side is done as you can see it's it looks good it's tight the wind is blowing really hard and it hasn't gone anywhere so what I'm going to do now is uh, get cleaned up get all my tools put up and uh, maybe take the family out to the Mexican restaurant tonight a little bit of food nobody has to cook Tracy was really busy today she uh, got that whole section of the garden cleaned out dug up all the old potatoes from last year found seed potato for this year and she got the roof of the greenhouse the old roof taken apart and disassembled so she stayed really busy well let's clean this mess up there's not going to be a part four on the roof um, there may be another part on the greenhouse when I build the doors and frame that in with the 4x4s and, and frame those with wood a little more detailed. This has been a big project, a little more than I thought I was getting into when I decided to put this roof on. But it's been enjoyable and uh, man, I am just so ready for garden season. I can smell the dirt and it's what we do. We love to grow food and, and crawl around and dig in the dirt. So. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, um, hit the bell to be notified. We'll get off this greenhouse project and we've got some big projects coming up now. We've got the silage cloth to get down on the ground. We'll get the tractor and, and get the agriculture rake on the back of it and clean it up. Uh, gonna level the driveway again. We gotta go through seeds and start getting seeds started. So there's a lot coming up. Stick around.